The Russian aviation industry often experiences cycles of triumph, pauses, and changes in priorities in developing new aircraft and engines. The PD-35 engine family and the MC-21-500 airliner represent the current stage of ambition. One project embodies the goal of creating a new generation of competitive wide-body aircraft. The other represents the technological foundation. Together, they show the obstacles and opportunities Russia faces as it seeks independence in civil aviation and a place in the global market. The PD-35 began as a bold attempt to build a heavy turbofan engine with 35 tons of thrust. The story goes back to 2021, when engineers started running the DDT, the Demonstrator of Technologies, on a test stand. After many design changes, the demonstrator reached the expected thrust levels. In short, the theoretical phase of development ended successfully. It proved that building such an engine was possible. But aviation is more than theory. The next step is to build a full-scale prototype, test it in real-world conditions, and finally, mount it under the wing of a test aircraft after bench trials are complete. Russian engineers report steady progress, though much work remains. The PD-35 is more than just an engine. It demonstrates Russia's ability to design and build a power plant in a thrust class long dominated by Western giants such as General Electric and Rolls-Royce. The Ministry of Defense is the only official customer of the PD-35. Its primary need is for heavy transport aircraft. Some analysts argue that moving vast numbers of troops and equipment quickly is no longer essential. Yet large airborne operations remain a possible option. Because production of D-18T engines has stopped, the future of Russia's AN-124 Ruslan transport fleet is uncertain. The UZGA plant now handles maintenance of existing engines. But new transport aircraft concepts such as the SLAN will require a modern power plant in the same thrust range. The PD-35 also reflects the vision of engineer Alexander Inizemtsev. He pushed for a practical 35-ton engine rather than jumping straight to 55 tons. Documentation is finished and a demonstrator exists. The current stage focuses on building prototypes, testing them in labs, and later moving to flight trials. The challenge is bridging the gap between theory and practice. The key question remains, which aircraft will first carry the PD-35 under its wing? On September 19, 2025, the Russian president visited Perm during the Day of the Gunsmith. Deputy Prime Minister Denis Mantarov, who oversees aviation and defense industries, joined him. There, the president received an update on the PD-35. During the same visit, Mantarov also mentioned a new passenger project, the MC-21-500. This aircraft could become Russia's next wide-body competitor. At first glance, the MC-21-500 looks like a continuation of the MC-21 narrow-body line. The numbering 200, 300, 400 usually signals fuselage length variations, as seen with Airbus or Boeing. The 500 label raises questions. Is it just a stretch, like a longer, narrow-body Boeing 757-300? In reality, it is not. The MC-21-500 is a true wide-body aircraft. It will seat 250 to 270 passengers and fly 8,000 to 9,000 kilometers nonstop. That allows flights from Kaliningrad to Vladivostok across Russia. It also places the aircraft in the same market niche as the much discussed Boeing 797. The MC 21 500 will not reuse the MC 21 300 narrow body frame. Its PD 26 engine, built from the PD-35's gas generator, has a fan about 3 meters in diameter. That is far larger than the 1.9-meter fan of the PD-14. As a result, the entire wing box, landing gear, center section, and fuel system must be redesigned. The wings must lift more fuel and weight. The fuselage will also be wider, with seven abreast seating similar to the Boeing 767. The program is still in concept development. 
Yet independent reports confirm that United Aircraft Corporation is actively working on it. Mantarov himself confirmed the MC-21-500 and also spoke of related concepts like the L-100 transport and the MC-21-600. The MC-21-500 name is controversial. Critics say it misleads people into thinking it is just a fuselage stretch. In aviation, model numbers carry weight. Boeing and Airbus use them carefully to mark clear differences. The MC-21-500 will share only limited commonality with the narrow-body MC-21, mostly in cockpit design and some avionics. Yet the name may signal a unification strategy. Boeing achieved this with the 757 and 767, which shared cockpits, training, and type ratings. If Russia can replicate this with the MC-21-300 and MC-21-500, it would give airlines a real advantage. Market size is another challenge. Analysts believe Russia's domestic market could need about 150 wide bodies over several decades. Export customers, such as Iran, North Korea, Cuba, and Venezuela, may add demand for about 100 more. Over two decades, total production could reach 500 aircraft. That is respectable, but still far below the output of Airbus or Boeing, especially when cargo, tanker, or military versions are included. The PD-26 engine designed for the MC-21-500 comes directly from the PD-35's core. The PD-35 is not yet ready for civilian use, but the PD-26 adapts its technology for a medium-wide body. Producing about 26 tons of thrust, it falls into the same category as Boeing 7 and 67 engine. This shows a broader strategy. Russia is developing a family of engines from a common core, adaptable to many aircraft. The PD-26 could also power a future IL-100 military transport. For civil aviation, it is the heart of the MC-21-500. In short, the PD-35 is the technology base. The PD-26 makes it commercially usable in the near term. The hurdles ahead are serious. Building a new wide body demands huge investment, new supply chains, and international certification. Russia's import substitution program is still incomplete. The civil aviation sector is rebuilding after years of reliance on Western suppliers. Designing a competitive, fuel-efficient wide body will stretch current abilities. Even so, reasons for cautious optimism exist. The MC-21310 now flying with domestic systems, shows progress despite sanctions. The PD-26 engine is closer to flight testing than the PD-18R geared turbofan. Demand for a 250-270 seat, long-range wide body is real, with global passenger numbers expected to rise in this segment. The PD-35 and the MC-21500 illustrate two sides of Russia's aviation goals. The PD-35 is a technological leap that enables future heavy transports and very large aircraft. The MC-21-500 is a practical step into the medium wide-body market with export prospects. The existence of both projects, even with uncertain outcomes and long timelines, shows Russia's commitment to sustaining its aviation industry. The PD-35 family ensures control over engines. The MC-21-500 helps grow expertise in designing wide-body aircraft, even if production numbers remain modest. In aviation, ambition itself matters as much as success. The PD-35 and MC-21-500 are not only hardware projects. They are declarations of intent, proving Russia wants to remain active in the complex, high-stakes world of aerospace. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.